in this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite little zone beaters out of the gun bunch from the play Mesh Corner in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is simply about how to become a better Madden player. I'm trying to become better and as I learn things in this game, I want to be able to share those with you guys um, to try to help you with what I know. So if you have not subscribed yet, it's completely free to subscribe to the channel and we upload videos every single day that are designed to help you get better at this game. Now really quickly before we dive too far into this, I'm in the New York Jets playbook, but I wanted to let you know that I did have to get a new cell phone number and so if you guys have not texted me with my new cell phone number yet my new cell phone number is 208 218-6900. And if you could do me a favor whenever you send me that message, um, some of you might be asking, why would I text you? What's the deal with that? Well, that's a great place to be able to connect with me, ask me any Madden questions that you have. But also, it's a great opportunity for you because every single week, I release a brand new offensive or defensive scheme into just my text message members. There's actually an exclusive playlist just for people who text me. And so the way that you can get that playlist is by texting the word Madden to my new cell phone number, which is 208 218 And I'll leave that number in the description. It's also in the top left-hand corner of every single video that I do. And here's the deal, in that playlist, it's got one to two hour video breakdowns on formations like the strong close, the gun bunch, the trips tight end, the U trips, the ace slot offset, the split close, the big nickel over G, and the 335 wide, as well as many other formations in there. There's about 15 videos in total right now, and we add a new one every single week. So if you wanna get that, that is in um, that that is in the text message membership. So if you wanna get that, just shoot me a text, and I would recommend if you type the word Madden, I've got it set up so that it will automatically send you uh, the playlist uh, as soon as you send that message in. But furthermore, let's talk a little bit about zone drops and let's talk a little bit about um, just the bunch. And we're going to talk specifically today about uh, really zone coverage and primarily a couple of different zone coverages. The first one, Tampa 2. The second one's going to be cover 3. The third one's going to be cover 4. And uh, we're going to talk about that through the lens of a couple of different adjustments. We're going to put our flats on 25. And I'm going to put my curl flats actually on 10 yards um, just to kind of make this play a little bit better against the combination that I want to share with you today. Obviously, if it was 5 and 30, it would be even more open. But anyways, let's just talk about this a little bit. So this is cover 4. And I have actually um, rediscovered the power of this mesh play. This was one of my favorite plays back in Madden, I think 13 and Madden 12. And um, I think it is really one of the best plays in the game right now. So uh, mesh from the gun bunch. This is found in the New York Jets playbook. And the setup is really, really simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, Devonte Adams, which would be the R1 receiver. We're gonna put him on a fade. From that point right there, that's pretty much all we have to do to get this to work, but there's a couple things that I like to do to make it work even a little bit better. What I like to do on the back side is I actually like to wheel the running back so that I can basically threaten the flats on both sides of the field. Another reason I like to wheel route the running back is let's say I'm playing Mutt and I have Playmaker on that square receiver on the left side, then what that's gonna allow me to do is it's gonna clear a lot of space where I can hit either the playmaker on the motion back or I can hit the wheel route up the seam. So that's why I like to use the wheel route. And then from there, the only other thing that I'm gonna do out of this is I'm gonna smart route the circle receiver, which is the right of screen outside slot. So my play art pretty much looks exactly like this. The last thing you could do if you wanted to, if you were worried about man coverage, is you could put the tight end on an out route but I wouldn't worry, I wouldn't do that because it's gonna mess up the spacing um, as far as it pertains to zone coverage. But anyway, on defense, you're gonna see that we are in a cover four drop and I just want you to watch, um, all we're gonna do is we're gonna motion that right of screen outside uh, circle receiver to the right and we're gonna snap him just before he sets his feet uh, on the motion. So get him all the way out there as wide as we can get and then you see this little delay right here. This is going to beat every zone in the game unless it's match coverage. Now, if it's match coverage, there's some other things that we can do. But every zone in the entire game, this little combination right here will absolutely kill it. There, Right there, you saw the cover four. Um, that's the cover four with 10-yard curl flats. Now, 
the one thing you have to be, it's a little bit of a tender um, route. You do have to kind of make sure that that corner on the right is drifting back. Now, normally he's gonna drift back really with no problem. Occasionally, he'll kind of squat on it for a second and then drift, like right there, you see? He kind of squats on it for a second and then he drifts back. That's only really out of the cover four that you're gonna have to deal with that. Now, what I will tell you is if you, if you have any issues with that, the quicker you throw, it's, it's almost the better. So again, you just kind of wait here. Oh, see that right there, get that out quick. And as you see, we're able to complete that against that cover four. If they have deep out KO like the Packers do with Jair Alexander out there, you know that can make a that can make a difference as well. But just you want to throw this. Obviously, you want to throw this several times, and you want to get used to this route. But as you learn this route, it's really a hard right pass lead because you're really just trying to get that ball outside those numbers. What it's going to force your opponent to do is it's going to force your opponent to have to adjust his zone drops and kind of change some things. So uh, w the next thing I want to show you is a cover for Mabel setup where we have a flat that's on 25 or 20 yards. We have a curl flat that's on 10 yards. And then we obviously have the deep vertical zone. And if you just watch this route combination go to work, I mean, this thing is absolutely incredible. It actually works best against Mabel coverage because of the Mabel coverage, it actually tells that outside quarter that he needs to get back a little bit more. It's gonna give you even more room to be able to get this out there. Now, the next play I wanted to go over is the play. Uh, now, the automatic thing that you think they're gonna do is they're gonna play cover two, right? They're gonna play Tampa two, that's what they're gonna do. Well, the problem is that does not actually work 100% successful. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. But basically, again, you want to make sure that you smart routed it. Now, as long as these cloud flats are basically above 20 yards, you're still going to be able to complete this. You see, they're going to drift back. They're not going to come down on the ball. The best chance they really have is at that 10 yard curl flat depth that they have on this play from the slot corner so but the problem that that's going to create is it's going to open up a lot of other things as far as your playmaker dot across the middle it's going to open up a lot of things here but you'll see if you pass this to the right and again jair alexander does is, is is a little bit of an exception to most of the rules here because if they don't have an, a you know that deep zone knockout ability then you're gonna have a little bit more success. The deep zone knockout ability will allow him to break a little bit faster. Um, you know, and again, you see right here, but I mean, you see this and it's just hard to the right. You just wanna get it, you wanna get it as far out there as you can so that even if they do break on the ball, then it's going to, it's going to alleviate interceptions. You're not gonna throw uh, interceptions because you're gonna have basically almost thrown it out of bounds is really the idea. And that's why you wanna get him out there as much as you can. And you really wanna wait and get this thing all the way out to the outside. Now the one issue, and that's where you can see the issue. The one issue with Gunslinger is it is a little bit of an art with Gunslinger because it's, it's almost better if he doesn't have Gunslinger with this one specific example most of the time it's definitely better for them to have gunslinger but if they don't have gunslinger in this example right here um you you if he has gunslinger the low trajectory it can kind of come back to get you here so if you if you high point it that can sometimes help but really the, the cover two is the obviously the best chance that they're going to have at being able to stop this now one thing that you can do let's say you know it's cover two right then you can just leave Tavon Austin's route as is and you'll notice that if he goes as is and he has the space to be able to run he's gonna kill it over the top there he's he, you're gonna have an opportunity for a really really good either a one play score to uh, your slot receiver or a one play score to the other receiver so you see right here the the middle is wide open to throw to Devonte Adams right over the middle the other thing that you have is you have that corner route so that's that's something that you that's kind of one of those things that you can really master as you go through and again if that purple zone's not out there out of a cover two mabel type of situation obviously you have your flat zone too and i haven't even touched on that but if if, if there's a 10 yard curl flat and a 20 yard cloud flat you don't have to just throw the the, the corner route even though the corner route is open most of the time you can check down to you're tied in on this so you'll see right here they're gonna drift back you can just check down right there and maybe break a tackle get up for about five ten yards and it's gonna be there for you um, but the other thing that I wanted to hit on really quickly is I wanted to hit on the cover three Mabel um, that's one of the more popular types of 
strategies for people, especially when they're defending Gun Bunch. So this is cover three, Mabel. Again, get that corner up over here. It's a really kind of touchy motion, but you see here, see him get open. I mean, see him just kind of work that sideline and it's a very tender throw. But I will tell you that if you if you lab it, if you work it, if you practice it, you're going to have a lot of success with this throw, whether it be against 335, whether it be against nickel, um, nickel 245, you know, you're going to be able to move relatively smoothly here on this throw as long as, again, you get it out there quick and you kind of, you know, aggressive catch if you're in, if any if problem. That 10 yard curl flat does do a decent job of getting out there. And that's really what's saving the defense is these 10 yard curl flats. But you have to remember, it leaves the whole middle of the field open. And again, right in that little pocket right there, that's what you're seeing. And that's what we're looking at right there. We're on that sideline, that little, little kind of outside pass lead uh, to get that there. So this is something that's really, really good. It's even better if, let's say the defense is putting, you know, if they're playing more severe zone drops to stop things like Z spot and things like that, this thing is really, really good against stuff like that. So let's say that, um, like, let's say that, let's say that they're running this zone drop combination of 25, 10, and, you know, whatever. If you go to the play Z spot, you can use kind of the same motion, but instead now it's a different combination, as you can see right here. It's a little bit different combination. I like to do the same thing on the backside. Now, with this different combination, what you're going to notice here is now your R1 receiver is gonna be able to get open on that sideline. You're gonna typically be able to pass lead him wide open. As this, you know, but, but the best zone drops for this in particular is to do that 25, um, 25, 10, and five combination. But as you see, this corner route is super good. You just have to learn how to pass lead it. You know, and, and depending on the coverage, you're gonna definitely need to use a little bit of a different pass lead, um, just depending on what they're doing. But if you can master this pass lead, uh, you will see that this is very successful. Now this slot fade is very dangerous too, um, against like a cover three type thing. As you see, sometimes that corner will come down. Some, most of the time he won't. Sometimes he will. The motion out, um, you know, you if you don't think you need to motion out, you don't have to. You can run, leave him in. Um, I've had good results with both, uh, but I like the motion out. Just get him out there, right there, and kind of get him in that little spot that's really less lesser utilized uh, from the gun bunch. And we'll show you this one more time here um, before we talk about the fade route to Devonte Adams. So to, again, just get him out here, motion him out, snap the ball. And for whatever reason, you know, that, that 10 yard curl flat is what's killing us. Uh, most of the time they're gonna have that at five yards, but that is what's that is what's kind of causing us the problem is that slot corner on that, that curl flat is really kind of getting in the way a little bit on this. But again, that's really that's right there what we're looking for. So it's almost like you you if you pass lead it kind of like back shoulder. You're going to be able to have a little bit more success because essentially like you're, you're throwing it almost like four o'clock on the joystick and you're going to see that that's going to get him in a really really interesting little window where that corner is not going to come back on the ball because you're throwing it backwards you're not throwing it forwards so he's not seeing he's not feeling like it's going vertical now as far as the other thing goes that i did want to hit on is this route to uh, Devonte Adams? So you see here, he's on a fade route, and I just want you to watch. This doesn't always work, um, but occasionally you can pass lead this thing to the right. You see, I wasn't able to that time, but occasionally you can. It does depend a little bit on you know who is who is going where with this. But what you'll notice is again, if I fade Devonte Adams, and then maybe I do something like a backside slant or a backside dig or a backside post that's going to help a lot with this combination here but again you'll see just maybe pass lead this to the right normally he's supposed to go back normally that guy is supposed to go back but in there are some instances where you it's definitely a read 
you know you definitely have to look at it and see if it's open or not open you know that's kind of the idea and again if you don't want to fade him you can obviously streak him there's nothing wrong with that sometimes it you know depending on the coverage but you see like right here this little low ball seam streak and that's going to force their user to have to stay in the middle of the field instead of be able to jet over you know and make plays on this on this route to Tavon Austin but really the key with the route is again hard right pass lead so that that deep blue zone doesn't come come into the picture you don't want any indication that you're throwing this ball vertical you want every indication to, to point to you're throwing it back shoulder right there that's what we're looking for and that's how you can use this route so um if you want to get the full gun bunch scheme i want you to text the word madden to 208-218-6900 that's my new cell phone number if you have any questions you can just text your questions there and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thanks for your time i really appreciate it i hope you enjoyed the breakdown i hope you learned a little bit about the gun bunch today and again if you have any questions just hit me up via text message